We have these troops down here, which we didn't raise, but whoever we inherited from has raised these. And there's a bit of retinue too. So these we're going to bring home. We don't really have cavalry in our retinue. But we're not going to look a literal gift horse in the mouse. Mouse. Mouth. Alright, uh, we still need a new steward. Do we have anyone deserving or do we just take someone loyal? Do we even have someone loyal left? There was one before, wasn't there? Uh, well, let's get someone who's good then. We still have the council in our back pocket. And we might even manage to set everything. So we might... Ah, let's just burn the guy. Why not? We might even manage to get one last vote from our content council. Let's switch to hunting because we are at that age. Oh, well. In three years we shall switch to hunting. Why am I marching you so far? Let's just get a ship in this coast. Send you home with a little bit oversized fleet. But oh, that's okay. So who are you at war with? Just these. It's probably not even a terrible strategy to just give a lot of titles to your heir. Chance that he's going to lose them is fairly small, I believe. Let's make sure we don't have any other retinue standing around. Somewhere there's people standing around. That's probably my own retinue, my own holding people. There we go. So these are all mine. We should stop leading troops at this point. Don't want to hold a grand tournament. Who are you fighting? Everyone, it seems. But we're waiting for the crusade, which shall commence soon. We'll have to see if we're even going to commit all that many forces or if it's fine if we just raise what our son here can muster. 6,700, yeah, that's good. He's raising some more on his own. So in multiplayer, if you play together and one of you is a liege lord as a feudal lord, and the other is a vassal. This can be really strong because you can still contribute your own, which might be exactly the same amount or even more than what he can raise from you. So he can raise 6,000 and I get 6,000 out of his as well. Right. We have pledged. So Deus Vult. Shall be. Uh, let's, let's watch our allies be stuck on the goddamn island again. And we will raise our one and only true army. It's literally the only army we're going to raise. Uh, and go do our thing. Where is the enemy? The enemy is here. We should probably go attack them before they gain in strength. Might even catch them in time. All right. We have our best and brightest 
Warriors leading our armies. Now we shall fight them where we find them. Early and soon. Down there is a desperate struggle. We shall attempt to join. Oh no. Oh boy. We're no longer paranoid, which is good. Let's put our troops up here because there's a whole bunch coming up from the south. And we're a little bit disorganized. Alright, let's try to defend here. We have the advantage of terrain. Not so much because... Well, there's a forest, so that's that's good. But they are not crossing a river, it seems. Which isn't great. Okay, let's hope that this army there is joining us. Because otherwise this is going to go terribly, terribly bad for us. Ah, it looks like they are joining. Honestly. A non-aggression pact with some mayor. Have it. It's a wonderful idea. Thank you for bringing that up in the middle of a crusade. Alright, so what we see here. In the Battle of Baston. Of Bastogne. Is that... We are being kicked hard. Because one of our flanks is already broken. But the center and our other flank are looking okay. So we might still win this. Yeah, we've broken. Yeah, yeah, yeah. No. Ah, the battlefield keeps changing because reinforcements arrive. All the time, so... Yeah, we have won this one. And we shall go north immediately and help here. We have very little morale, so it might not be the best idea. But they are attacking straight from a landing, so... They're not doing too fresh themselves. Okay, so that battle was very important for us to win. Let's go join. More battles important for us to win. Every battle is important. Oh, look at this. The Templar army is coming. Man, that's, that's some huge amount of troops they got there. Let's join our defenders here. Maybe we can reach in time. Come on, come on. Yes, perfect. We barely got to reinforce them. Okay, so much stuff is popping up. Uh, what do you want? Yes, have the marriage. It's fine. We have the wrong type of holding up here. Why do we have this? I'm sure there's some child somewhere that could have this. Yeah. He can have this. County of Innscut. Have it. And you guys shall stand down. I don't want light infantry, light cavalry retinues. No interest in such. It doesn't look like it, but it was fairly balanced when this all started. We are giving him the advantage for once. We're still attacking with a much greater army. So again, we could raise many more troops, really, if, if we needed to. Or rather wanted to. But there's neither need nor want. So let's go and uh, besiege his capital. And do that. And have, keep an eye on his troop movements. Actually, we might want to catch this army there. Because that's... Let him walk. Want to attack him? Yeah, let's attack him. Not ideal. Right, our crusader is going to lead troops here. Because... He's a pretty good... But we're losing commanders hard. Let's find let's find some more capable people. Let's look toward all the worlds and find us some commanders worthy of the title. 
and the responsibility. I mean, they're not really great, but what can you do? Take what you can have. It's always better to fight an aggressive war. To go for them as they stand. Good. Getting the 18 point command on the flank here. And it jumped up to 20 for some reason. Good, the other guy joined too. Immediately jumped up to 20, that's, that's pretty cool. And he's fighting against a leaderless flank. So let's hope he can prove himself against no one. No one in particular. It's definitely someone leading. Well, he did lose his flank, but the Templars arrived, turning the tide in an undisputable manner. Okay, now we go siege. Now we now we stop caring because they are just steamrolling everything anyway. Look at this. All the participants. Where are we? We're right at the beginning here. And we have... Our contribution is 28%. But I think we can just check here. I will stick to it. I could give it all to my daughter. Let's give it to our daughter. We don't want to rule it anyway. Doesn't matter. Well, let's siege a bit. Might want to build a fort. Let's build a fort. Why not? Doesn't hurt us. Costs us a little bit. I don't think we need it there. But again. Always a good idea to build forts when you can. Where you can. And it costs us very little to nothing to wage this war. We're really just retraining our... Retinue there and everything else is just our dear son providing troops for the war effort. I do enjoy the music a little bit. It's just so great. And there it stops as I tell you to enjoy the music. Oh well. Church wants to organize a miracle play for the local saint in our demands. Sure. We shall not ignore the local saints. Well, this is a much more successful crusade there. For once, we're not going to pay the upkeep on a trade route. Okay. Our income doesn't feel it all that much anymore. There's a big army we should probably go take out. Unless he's already doing it, but I doubt it. Oh no, they, these are... I don't know, it's hard to tell where they want to go. Never really know with these. But I hope that... Yeah, they're going to attack there. Good. The Malteser. Some knight order is that. It's a shame because you rarely ever get to hire these holy orders as they always join themselves already. Would be very cool. I would like to fight a war where they are with me.
Okay, so the recipient doesn't pop up yet. We would get 4,000 gold out of this. But if we contribute... Okay, we can't afford it. So if we would contribute, we would get more out of it. Apparently. And we would get two artifacts based on our contribution here. Nice, I've never won one of the newer crusades. I'm, I'm really looking forward to it. To seeing all the fallout because it looks like it's really worthwhile now. Which is funny because the game is called Crusader Kings. But crusades have been a bit of an afterthought it always felt. Oh look at that. A new prince. I have some more diplomats in our realm. In our realm... Nafisa, Queen of Houseland. Hmm. Interesting. Anyone good? Anyone good at all? Let's let's look in the lower age groups first, if there's anyone good at all. Oh yeah, look. Strong but sickly, so strong should offset the sickly a little bit. Um Yeah, let's let's betroth to her. Not really worth it. In terms of prestige. But getting some good traits in the family, that, that doesn't hurt. Not a bit. What? I am apparently a homosexual. And crowned by the Pope. So... Our steward is looking mighty fine. Oh no. We're not going to do anything about our son. Well, we gave him a good tumble. We don't discriminate around here. Plots to kill my son. Well, no wonder. All these Muslims wanting to kill our son. Or fabricate claims or whatnot. So there's this army running around down here. Not sure what they do, where they belong to, what their job is. I'd like to see my war contribution, really. What is my contribution? It was easier to see before. Oh, the other side has, has more strength than us? No, we are the other side. All right, okay. 4,000 gold. Man, that's the number. And we shall go fight them here as they move in and can't stop anymore. And we have a huge army right now, so let's take them out. There's some infighting between the infidels, it looks like. They're doing well, though. They're doing really well. Not this flank, but everything else. He's the guy we called in. It was new. He lost his first battle, but... It's okay. He's doing better now. Live and learn. So this flank is out. The center is taking heavy, heavy losses. Now this flank. There we go. The enemy has been defeated. It was a fair fight. They gave us a good battle. Hello, Mr. Contribution. 24% still. We have a huge enough army to assault them, but we're not gonna. Not going to assault. My son-in-law would like to go... ...join the Knights Hospitaller. 
I don't know what that means for my grandson, but... Okay. Let's do it. So his mother... Is lacking a husband. Let's find a good new husband there. Let's look. No. Genius, maybe? They're rare. Them. Well, there's an attractive young, strapping young man. A Greek. Oh, okay. I, I forgot I need to go matrilineal. That will automatically reduce the amount of men that might be interested in this. Alright, so he's the only only kid who would be willing. Oh well. It is what it is. Oh, there was a defeat. Not too sure. Not too sure. Let's, let's assault this. Got enough manpower to do this. And now we go fight them here. Now we go fight them here. I want to take out the larger armies as they amass. It's all... Irishmen. The Empire leading the charges. Fighting the battles. This is indeed a grand war. I like this. This this is a good 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 war. Oh wow. Okay, so this seems to be a one-time thing. For some time now, the county of Urmumheim has served as an unofficial training ground for my armies, as there's plenty of open space on which to train and abundant food to feed the troops. A group of senior officers are now petitioning you for money in order to erect an official regimental camp in the county. So... We would get a plus 15% levy size. For Umohain, which is our main county where we have all our castles, which pro give us all our troops, really. So that's really cool. Let's do that. We're going to be swinging in crusade money soon. And this doesn't seem to be... Um, stopped at all. Like, there is no expiry date on it. So this is really, really cool. This is really, really cool. Man. See, there, there are still a lot of um, events I've never seen before. When sieging go for capitals of things, it's always a little bit more worthwhile for war score. Than sieging some random whatever it is. Nope, I'm not selling my land. Let's build a little fort here to help mitigate the attrition. Well, it's the supply limit really that's killing people here, but... That's okay, we don't need any more troops, really. They have been depleted so hard, the enemy. It's not our concern anymore. Some of these sigils look really, really good. I like those. Great. But this army has melted down... ...from 15,000? Due to attrition. Always take care of that stuff. You can have a huge army become a very, very small army very quickly. Without ever being in a battle. Maybe some armies detached too, but... Feels like... This was a different reason. So we'll finish the siege and then we go take him out. As he arrives there. Should maybe... Let's balance... Can't really. Alright, can we catch him? No, he's moving away from us. It's okay. Don't need to catch him.
All right. A host has formed. We'd rather invite them to attack us. Let's see if they're going to do it. Oh, they're moving up here now. Well, attacking them here is okay. They don't really get a bonus out of it. So let's fight them. Where they stand. This guy isn't all that great on the flank. He's losing to some weird, weird people there. But overall, our armies are led well. Even if that one really good looking commander isn't doing so hot. In some ways. These guys, I think, just raid? No. Look at all these battles going on. I've never seen war being so frantic. So many troops on the move and engaged all the time. We need to help here. If we can. Once this battle is over, we need to move. Ah, we're not going to arrive in time. Yeah, hold out, my brothers. Hold out. Oh, too late. We arrived too late. But we shall avenge you. Your blood shall not be spilled in vain. Here we come and here we go. Here we fight and bleed. Look, they're setting up a counter siege there. They shall live to regret it. So our center leader will always be replaced by someone of a higher rank, even if they have a lower martial rating. Same with him. So as soon as a leader moves in that's better, higher ranked, these get replaced. I'm, I'm finding it interesting that I'm ignoring everything over this. Absolutely everything. It doesn't matter to me. Oh, children need something? I don't care. Let's see, get some alliances going here. The imbecile here. My grandson imbecile. Oh, there's so many imbeciles in my, in my line. I feel that that says something about someone. Not sure about whom, though. What's our war contribution at this point? 23%. How is it going down? We're fighting all the cool battles. And winning them, too. It's like something is being cal calculated in a weird manner. Well, it's just... Burn whoever. All right. A what? As people flock to Ulmerheim, so too do the clergy. In fact, so many will be temple tax and monthly piety. Is it worth it? Are our priests even paying tax currently? Because I have a feeling they might not. Yeah. It's not worth it to take care of them and, and constantly look if they actually pay or not, if they're friendly. Ugh. Too much effort for too little gain. Well, let's siege a little bit. For the last 5% there. Let's see, we still only get two artifacts, but we get a bunch of gold. A bunch of piety and a whole lot of prestige. Wow. This is really cool.
<laughs> I want to see it done this episode, really. Would be nice. So this is going to be a little bit longer. But hopefully worthwhile still. See, these smaller battles, they don't matter all that much. They happen all over the place, but they don't contribute much to war score. All about the occupation now. We're just occupying where we stand, so we didn't have to move too far to get uh, occupation going. We're not assaulting, we have too few men for this. Oh, now we have a lot. Let's... Let's assault here. <laughs> As they were still standing on top of us. Come on, just one more percent. Who can do it? Let's go help this battle there. These always seem to be... in the wrong place and the wrong time. Maybe this will be the last battle of the crusade. So we shall definitely be part of it. There we go. Look at that. Yes, have some gold for military technology. This might be the last battle. Come on. Let's beat them. There we go. Alright, so how does this work now? I assume the Pope will declare... ...some Pope... ...thing. Hopefully. What do we get? Bunches and heaps. 6,000 gold. I don't believe I ever had so much gold. There we go. Catholic, we won, and our sweet daughter has become the Queen of Austrasia. Praise God. Doesn't really help because she doesn't have heirs, but she is now... Oh, look, we could switch. We could now become the Crusader Queen. That's cool. That is really cool. But we're not gonna. We shall wish her luck. So what we got a whole bunch of gold. What did we get in terms of treasury? I don't even know what should be in here. The Irish lands of the cross. It's a good thing. Let's have this instead of this. Nail of the true cross, wow. Some fingers. Tongue of the saint. Ah, it's not too great, but... Doesn't matter. Oh, we're a holy warrior. Nice. We freed another... piece out here. She doesn't want to be a vassal, nor does she want to have an alliance. Oh, come on. Sweet daughter of mine. Dangerous faction in my realm? How's this possible? You? Interesting.